This is just a little addendum to my Min NASA OSD project. Uh, I got a few parts in from Pololu. That's P O L O L U dot com. And that led me to work a little bit more on the lead status and on the voltage divider for the Min NASA. So I'm going to talk about that and probably some other things uh, as more information comes in. I'll just update this addendum and just uh, put a link under the original videos to it so that people can see what else I've done after the three-part series was over. So let's talk about the voltage sensor mod first and then we'll get into the lead adapter mod. So the power distribution board has some good little lands I can solder things to and one plane over here is ground and this plane over here is 5 volts so I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, resistor divider for the uh, voltage right onto these lands. So to ground I have the uh, 47K and then another K in series. So I got 48K here and then I've got the uh, 680 ohm or 680K over here which I'm going to solder to the 5 volts and then this point out here will run out and go to the minimum OSD uh, voltage input. And this is for the uh, four cell battery that's set up here. And here uh, I've got 47K and 680K, but actually this is now 48K, which is good for the four cell battery. And I'm not using uh, precision resistors, so these may vary. If you have precision resistors, it may be a little different. Your mileage may vary. Just using one of the one pin connectors I got from. Uh, Pololu, so I can take a regular servo lead and push it in there and now I have a nice little one pin socket connector which I can then place right on here on our voltage input. So here's the resistor divider all done and I've got a red wire running out here over to the minimum OSD to the voltage port. Now let's see if we can measure the voltage. The power distribution board is ready. I have a JST connector here that plugs the uh, lead module into the power right here and then I'm going to plug in the main battery here. Okay, main battery is plugged in and let's see. And there's the voltage from the battery right there. So that appears to be working. Now also from Pololu I have a little connector right here that I ordered as well as some of the other connectors that I used here and I have some one pin connectors, two pin, three pin, four pin, etc. All the way up to like six pin. And also Pololu sells these wires here which you can poke into those little connector blocks and make up your own cables. So that's what I've been doing. So having that capability I went ahead and made the little lead adapter to read the lead status. So here it is right here. And so that's just one of these plugs here and a four pin header and the three resistors right here, these values right here, 100K, 200K, and 47K. And you can look at the wiki to see how it all solders together. So I got that plugged in right here from the lead module, sort of tapping into the lead module wire. Lead is over here. And then I have an alligator clip running from here. It's a yellow wire ends up on the yellow wire which I chose from the Polulu rainbow set and uh, it plugs in right over here where we read the lead status which was on pin 3 right here which I have m marked with yellow. Okay so let's see how that works. Alright I have the lead status module blinking away here and I also have lead status coming in from the minimum OSD now and you can see the icon for it right here. And the LED status also provides the flight mode which is right here. It says MOD and GPS right now. So if I flip this switch right here, do that, it goes to attitude mode and you can see the icon changes. And as I go to this mode, I'm in manual and you can see that changing too. And I can flip my gear switch which is set up to go to fail safe. Now if I flip that on 
it'll say FS for fail safe. And you can see the icon is now yellow. And then background in here, you can see the camera's aimed at the LED status module. And I got a bag in front of it because it's so bright, but it's right there. And you can see that's blinking yellow, hopefully. It may not show up on the monitor here, but that's yellow and that's the icon for yellow. Now, if I take the, I'll put this switch back in attitude right here, which is the center switch. And then flip the gear switch back to zero, take it out of fail safe, it goes back to attitude. And now you can see it's one yellow and three reds, I believe. One yellow and three reds it's blinking. So that's kind of interesting the way that works. But it does work. So now I can see what mode I'm in and what the lights are doing while I'm doing FPV. This is my version of the LED adapter and it has the connector from Pololu here and a little four pin header here and that's soldered together and there's the three resistors which are represented in the schematic down here and then where the three resistors tie together right here I soldered on a servo socket right there. Now I only need the uh, the yellow wire right here but I just soldered the ground to it too for support so it wouldn't pull loose but only one wire is going to plug in. I'm just going to have a three pin plug on the end of this and only one wire on it and that'll just plug in right here. Well actually it could go either way but you know one wire is all that's going to go in the socket and that'll run over to the minim OSD input over here and then this business here plugs into the lead from the LED module like that so that goes to this LED module and then the other end just plugs into the NASA right over here in that area and to finish it off I'm just going to take a piece of heat shrink and stick it over like this leave enough sticking out so it'll plug into the NASA and then just heat shrink that down so that's my version. So here's my Pololo cables attached right here. But an additional bit of information is I went ahead and put some RTV or silicone cement right here on the back of this header because that second header, even though it's uh, glued down with epoxy, I still felt it would be more secure with a little silicone glue behind it. And another caveat is that my FTDI the USB board would not plug on as easily as it used to with the two rows of pins here. So I went ahead and made an extension cable for the FTDI connector. So it would just, uh, you can see one end right here. Again, I used a Pololu connector and uh, it'll plug right on the bottom there. And then the other end will plug into the FTDI board from SparkFun and of course the USB cable comes off here and goes to the computer so that solves that problem if I need to program the minimum OSD.